Have you been wondering, is there another woman? I'm Rosetta. Pick a card and I'll do a detailed tarot reading for you with your guidance from spirit to find out whether your person has someone else on the side. So you're choosing among th these three cards, number one, number two, or number three. Timestamp for the card you chose will be in the description below and let's go. Let's see what we can find out for you. All right, group one, let's see what we have for you. As I'm shuffling the cards on your behalf, please think about the person you want to know about so that there's a better chance I'll be able to tune in. And as you know, this is a group tarot reading, so this can be much less specific to you than if you were getting a one-to-one -one tarot reading directly with me. So take what resonates with you, leave the rest. If the cards I draw don't seem to suit your situation at all, please check out my reading for group two or group three. All right, let's see what we have, group one. Question is, is there another woman in the picture? Is this part of any of the difficulties that you're currently feeling in your relationship? Let's find out. I don't know. There's, there's some various forces in play in this situation. So far, I'm not seeing another woman per se. I'm thinking this has more to do with your partner's own personality and own things that um, he or she is going through. Let's also turn the card that we had right side down. Emotional loss. Okay, so the good news perhaps is that I don't see another woman in this situation. So I don't think that this person has found someone else or that someone else has drawn your person away from you. But what I do see is, well, first of all, let's hit the emotional loss card. Has there been a loss that your partner has had? Someone dear to him has passed away? Has he had difficulty in his or her career? There's something else that's going on that's causing the difficulties that you're having in the relationship. So this is not looking like it's all about you. This is looking like it's all about your person. So we've got the Ace of Cups in reverse. There's this feeling like he may not have done this yet, but he wants to do something different. He want, you know, he's, he's searching, he's looking, he's not sure what his purpose in life is anymore. We've got the devil in reverse. So it's possible he's thought about doing some things that are not agreed upon in your relationship, but it's looking like he has not done them yet. I see that he's had likely less interest in socializing, less interest in um, his friends, the close people to him in his life. We do have, it is three of cups, so that's three women partying, enjoying, but I'm not seeing this representing another woman, as, as well that we have the card in reverse. So I'm just seeing that it's a general feeling that he's not interested in the kinds of things he normally would be enjoying in life and kind of borne out by the three of wands as well. So these three cards often have to do with not only creation, but social interaction. And we see that he's, even if opportunities came for him in his career, in his field, even if various things were presented to him, even if opportunities and chances were here for him, we see that it's likely that he's not aware, he's not willing to take action on those things. He is in this, I'm really surprised that I don't see the hermit card here because I, I just feel like he has withdrawn. So once again, this is actually possibly a good sign for your relationship because this is nothing for you to be worried about in terms of the two of you. This is more about him. Can you be supportive here? I don't know. That would depend upon the situation, but this gives you at least a little understanding of what's going on. We see 
the page of cups coming up for him. So I feel like if you hang in there, he is going to be ready to either start over again with you or he's just going to have more interest in life pretty soon. But it's like you have to sit back, be supportive, but not press on him too much while he's while he's coming to terms with the situation where he when while he's dealing with losses that have happened recently in his life so that's what i have for you i think overall this is a very good outcome for this reading did this reading speak to you group one if it did please like this video and leave me a quick comment and I would, of course, love it if you subscribe and click that notification bell. And I am sending you love and blessings and hoping to see you in my next video. Welcome, group two. So as I shuffle the cards for you, please focus on the person that you would like to know about. Guys, you know that this is a group tarot reading, and what that means is that the results of this reading will not be able to be anywhere near as specific to you as if you were doing a one-to-one -one tarot reading with me. So take what resonates with you and leave the rest. And as I lay out the cards, if this does not seem to reflect your situation, I always recommend that you take a look at the readings for group one and group three within this video. All right, let's see what we've got for you, group two. The question is, is there another woman in the picture? Ace of Cups in reverse. Eight of Wands, like so far signifying no. Let's keep going though. No, oh, the lovers. So this is one where we're gonna to have to draw some additional cards likely to get a clear picture of what's going on. And of course, we also have to turn over and take a look at the card you chose. All right, so let's see what we have for the card you, you actually chose. Choose wisely. We have the lovers. So what I'm feeling is he's tempted. There's someone that he may be interested in. Has he moved on this yet? Ace of Cups in reverse. Likely no. But if you have this intuition that there's someone else lurking around in the background just because of the way your partner is behaving, you feel like you just have that gut feeling that there's somebody else, there may be someone he's thinking about, but it looks like it's likely it hasn't happened yet. Eight of Wands. Very likely this might be someone he works with. Um, King of Wands might be someone that is on his team, but not on his level. So someone who works um, under him, someone who is um, who reports to him, likely. All right. And uh, we've got the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. So I just feel like he is resisting his feelings toward this situation. And without bringing up this question, because it's, a, it's horrible to accuse someone of something that has not happened. So, but maybe take a look and see who is on his team at work? Who is he likely to be working with on a day-to-day -day basis? I don't see that this is someone that he meets while working out of town um, casually. This looks like someone who he is seeing on a daily basis in the course of his job. So let's get another little look just so we can confirm a little bit more. So if this is the case, and that's always a big if, because this is a group tarot reading. So if you really want to know, this is one of those situations that I would recommend scheduling a personal tarot reading with me. But um, let's get an idea of what you, so what is your next step in this situation if this even were to be true? 
you know, but so far this reading is saying that nothing has taken place, nothing has happened. Okay, so definitely group two, um, Spirit is saying that you should take some action in this situation and wondering if, uh, have you been the most pleasant person to be around lately? This reading is suggesting that maybe you haven't. So have you been taking your partner perhaps for granted? Have you been doing all of the nice things that you normally would do? So, uh, or have you perhaps been taking him for granted or taking her for granted? So if so, Remember, we've got the six of cups in reverse. So we want to turn this right side up. We want you to be showing that you do care about your partner, being nice to your partner. Because in terms of this reading, it's suggesting that nothing has taken place yet. Um, he has been tempted, but um, he or she has not moved on this yet. So just reconnect Remember that for any of us, really, even the most loyal person can be tempted when someone else is being very nice to us and interests us and thinks, oh, this would be a cool person. I really would like to get to know this person more. That's often how these things begin. And often there's a comparison. And then you think, well, my partner really doesn't care about me anyway. It's been a long time since my partner has, has treated me the way I want to be treated. So that's the message of this reading group too. Did this reading speak to you? If it did, please give this video a like, leave me a quick comment, and I would love it if you hit subscribe and click the notification bell. As always, I'm sending you love and blessings and I really hope to see you in my next video. Welcome group three. As I shuffle the cards for you, please focus your mind on your person. And I always feel that that helps as much as possible, that there will be something in this reading that will speak to you. Obviously, this is a group tarot reading, so it's not going to be specific to your situation the way a personal one-to-one -one reading with me would be. But I always say, please, Take what resonates, leave the rest, and let's see what we have for you. As I lay out the cards, if nothing seems to resonate the way I initially start to describe the situation, please take a look at my reading in this video for group one or group two. Okay, question is, is there another woman in the picture? Okay, unless there's a really different card for the last card I draw, I would say no. All right, so this reading points to no. Let's see what the card is that you chose. Let's see if that gives us a little more in insight. Conflict and defeat. All right, so if you have been feeling that your partner has been pulling back and has not been in as engaged and you're wondering if there's someone else, what I'm seeing here is that no, but your partner has been going through a lot of as we, conflict. We've got the Ace of Swords. We've got the Five of Swords. Then we see him fighting on the Seven of Wands. And what he or she really needs the most in life right now is this feeling of balance and peace. So even, you know, no matter what your partner has been trying to do to resolve the situations that they're in, it, nothing seems to be going right at this moment. Okay, so we can kind of take a closer look at the card you drew. So this is kind of the feelings of your partner right now. And then we've got two fives side by side, so it's a change, change, and at this point, unwanted change. So what kind of change could this be? This to me is seeming to point more to work, career, um, the person's means of livelihood. 
the person's sense of who he is. This could even be having conflicts and fights within the family, could be conflicts and fights within your own relationship. But it's like on more than one level. You know, most of us can do pretty well if one area of our life is falling apart. But if multiple levels of our lives are in conflict and flux, we don't know where they're gonna to be tomorrow. If everything that gives us stability is kind of shifting under our feet, including perhaps your relationship, then this is the situation, this is the feelings of your partner right now. So I'm going to pull a couple extra cards on this, but what jumps out at me right away is, can you provide a little more sense of balance and peace within your home, if you share a home together, or when you are together? What will impact your partner the most for the positive right now would be not being at him all the time, not trying to be a fixer, not, well, what if you do this? What if you do that? And in the back of your mind, you're wondering if he might be cheating on you. Instead, you want to be that nice, soft place for your partner to hang out and land. You want to just be there in case your partner feels comfortable enough to start telling you more about what's going on. I'm feeling like you probably are not aware of everything that's bothering your partner right now because you're on this reading, right? So you've already been wondering if there's another woman in their life. Life. So since you've been wondering about that, or that's been the first go-to that you thought, well, something's wrong, maybe it's this, then maybe you're not aware of everything that's on your partner's mind, everything that you're worrying about. You may not even know that there are issues with family members, that there might be issues with work that somebody on your partner's work team is taking the credit that belongs to your partner that's running off with the promotion that there are that he no longer trusts or respects people in his career or on his job there's more going on so my number one thing to suggest is just cut your partner some slack for the present time and hopefully your partner will tell you more about the situation um, when he or she feels that they can. Okay, so let me give you another card or two. Let's just see if Spirit has anything else to say to you about this situation. Any more recommendations to what you should do? Because you guys know, I don't just read tarot cards. I like to give you next steps. All right, let's see if we have anything more to say to you. Yeah. Okay, we've got the Hermit in reverse. So I think this is reinforcing the situation that you may be an action-oriented person who wants to fix things, like you're looking for the solution, looking for the solution. Spirit is suggesting to you to step back from that. Step back from that for the present time. Give your partner some space. And keep treating your partner with a lot of kindness and understanding so that your partner will feel that they can come to you and tell you more about the situation. Then we also had the Five of Cups representing your partner. So a little more time has to pass. Sometimes people have to be in this state of quiet and depression and renewal and before they can look at the possibilities that are still there. So right now your partner is focused on all of these things that have gone wrong or maybe are still going wrong and is not able to see the blessing that you are in your partner's life. But you cannot be the person to get him to see that just by being who you are and by relaxing and giving your partner some space. That's the best thing you can do at this moment to help your partner through this situation. 
Did this reading speak to you? If it did, please give this video a like, leave me a quick comment, and of course, I would love it if you hit subscribe and click that notification bell. I'm sending you love and blessings, and hope to see you in my next video.